Welcome back. Uh, this video is about the blurb section here on the home page. Um, so they're three column full width and they have a subtle overlay color that kind of highlights them as you scroll over them. Just a nice little uh, touch I think. So I'm going to show you kind of how this section works in case you want to use it on a different page or edit the page or edit this current one. And then there's another uh, version of it, a couple other versions here on a couple other pages that I'll also pull those up as well. Okay, so here I am on the, the home page. So I'll be working with the solid color one here. And I scroll down here, I see my, my three blurb section here. And first thing, I've given them a CSS class of Anthem Blurb Container because um, I'd like to edit these with CSS on the hover. That's what I'm doing with the, uh, the colors here. And so then I go ahead and I set up my, my blurbs and my small button. The easiest way to do this would be to um, right click on the section container here and copy and then, and then paste it and you, and you got it. But in case that you wanted to remake this, in my row here, there's some settings that has to happen. Make this row full width, yes. Uh, use custom gutter, yes, of, of zero. Um, I just manually put that in. And then the custom padding's on zero. Keep that on mobile. And then as we go into advanced design settings here, this is where you'll see where we start to, uh, we do equalize column heights and then the column one background and I have some padding settings here for desktop, tablet, and mobile. And the same thing down here on these ones. In the other examples, I'm using background images. So for example, in the black and white page, I'm using background images there. And in this video header, I'm using background images. But this, these ones are static. They are, they are not parallax, where these ones, they are parallax, kind of a cool effect. And so that is where you would say um, column one background image and then use the parallax effect. And for that one, I'm using true parallax for those. So, but for this, for the home page though, I'm setting my colors here. And then you can go into the blurbs and change them out as you want or change the icons. And then in my CSS file here, I scroll down to around line 357. Again, this might change as the file is updated, but it'll be in this neighborhood. Uh, or just search for Anthem Blurbs in, in, the, uh, in your editor. And here I see column 1, and here's the color that I've chosen. Same with co column 2 and column 3. And let's see if I can get a color picker to come up here. Oh, I, I can't remember how to do it, actually. There we go, color picker. So that's kind of just this, this blue color there. Ha. This is kind of a, a more vibrant purple. And then this one is a more vibrant kind of pinkish color. And so that's where I'm getting the overlay colors. And then if I disabled this, And saved. After I refresh, I wouldn't get any kind of hover effect, which which is fine too. I like that as well. So that is how you work the blurb sections in Anthem. It's a really cool way to show this full width three column section. And I think with the right images, um, could really make those sections stand out. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.